uh, unbelievable job by the uh, uh, rig crew. Uh, to, you know, do what they had to do through game one and then uh, bounce back and still have the energy to take care of business and make it as, as good a sheet as you can probably do under today's conditions. Uh, I think we were very fortunate ourselves and Holy Cross that the uh, weather cooperated and, and uh, gave us a chance to play a, a, a solid hockey game. You know, I think they were uh, uh, quick today, um, obviously kept us behind most all, well all the game, they kept us behind and uh, I give them a lot of credit for finding ways to score goals because you know it wasn't uh, you know, as fast a sheet or as perfect a sheet as you have indoors, but uh, no excuses. Uh, they, they give them credit, they play well, and they also seem to come up with an awful lot of blocks in different parts of the game. So uh, a lot of credit to them, and uh, you know, we've got to just uh, move forward with a you know, game on Sunday against Northeastern. Yeah, Coach, could you talk a little bit about the, the conditions and how they kind of settled down and how that affected you? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that I think the conditions are equal for both teams, so I don't I don't think it affected one team more than the other. You you had to play a, a clean game, good puck management, get the puck in deep. Not that you don't do that normally, but I think you could spend more time regrouping, uh, you know, making the extra pass. And tonight was not a night for that, so that might have been the the one way. I think it uh, you know you had to be smart on both sides. Questions for Julia. Julia, how did you find the ice trip as you were out there? Yeah, um, you know, there were many times where it was, was really rough, but um, as like uh, James said, the weather uh, died down and eventually I found uh, I found that it was uh, pretty much easier to play on, but um, other than that, it uh, wasn't what we're used to, so definitely a challenge. Julia, obviously not the outcome you guys wanted tonight, but what can you kind of take away from this experience, especially being a federal league kid, you know, not too far from here, and just kind of what was being able to play at that one with them? Yeah, I yeah, know it was uh, it was really cool. Um, my sister did it when a couple years ago for her prep school, and now that I got to be a part of it, um, it was it's really cool. Um, the weather, even though it made it difficult, it was definitely cool to have it snow and have that whole atmosphere. But um, I'm just uh, thankful for the opportunity. Um, everybody that pitched in um, really made it this uh, special night for a lot of us. Do you give yourself, obviously, with you're trying to win a game, do you give yourself a moment to kind of just take in the whole atmosphere and kind of look around? And if you did, kind of when did you do so? Um, honestly, when we went, uh, we came yesterday for a little like 30 minute practice, and that was when it sank in for everyone. And um, for me, I just think, Today was just strictly business. I had to, we were, we were trying to get these points coming back for the second half. So um, I took it in all yesterday. It was a really great meeting today, but um, my focus was mainly to win today. You guys play Holy Cross again pretty soon. So what do you think the main thing that needs to change in the team's game to kind of not be behind? Um, I think, I mean, we started playing um, with more urgency towards the end because we were down. Um, we got to start with the same. Uh, anticipation, same energy, um, make the smart plays, obviously. Um, today wasn't the greatest outcome, but um, we did have our chances, but they did the best on capitalizing.